Listening. Listening.
guys and gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are back <laughs> at the ocean base and welcome to episode 20 of Minecrafting with Marcel Marcel and I'm your gracious host Marcel Marcel and to all my returning subscribers, thank you very much, really appreciate your support, make sure you hit the like button and share to help grow this community into something beautiful. You know what I mean? And if you're new, this is what I need you to do. I need you to subscribe so you can stay notified every time we do a video like this or go live. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I need you to do. So, guys and gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Yep. I really hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse of me doing all of that hard work just for your entertainment. <laughs> so, check this out. As I was building it and then I finished it. And then you'll notice we jump and it looks all different. It's because, see right there, right there, when I first did it, it was about there. So we were about like three blocks too low. So I had to destroy this whole entire thing after I built it all up and then raise it up. So it was kind of crazy. Yeah. But what we're going to be working on today is we're going to be doing a lot of aesthetic work. So I want to do something in the doorway there um, and also want to get the villagers up here and get them into their trading halls and check this out man I'm trying something new so yeah see that there I think that looks pretty cool we're going to add some aesthetic work to the outside to make it look real nice. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on, man, that I really, really want to work on. We got to grab our supplies and all of that. And we're going to put a way to get up here. And I got all my trades done with the villagers over here. These guys are all, you see, they all have their diamond belts. So those guys are ready to go in here with uh, this guy right here. He's just been sitting here being nice and patient, man. He want to help us out. <laughs> And you can see I put all the glass in from the last time you were here. And if you're new, I want to show you guys something too. Let's take a run downstairs real quick. Oh man, I thought I was going to be able to go through the door. Let's try it again. And again. Nope. And again. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just not working out. Alright, so this is what the inside looks like. Hey, there goes Scar. And there goes Cuffin. And over here we got Iskal and Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> And I did a big map. I just wanted to show you guys the inside of the storage facility. It's looking beautiful. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is, and this is going to back up, is I'm going to get all of the supplies ready and try to figure out what we're gonna work on first. I mean, I really want to do something with this, make it look fantabulous. You know what I mean? So let me go ahead and grab all the supplies and. Oh, that looks amazing. Let's get started on our 20th episode. Yay! I'll be right back. Hey, guys and gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in the ocean base. <laughs> and you see, I got my boys, my boy Scal chilling in the background. They holding it down, man. I know they hermits, but they got to play the doors in uh, Minecraft with Marcel, Marcel. Dang. <laughs> So, guys, I'm back. We are still in the base. I want to show you guys, give you an update on what is going on. Now, to start off down here so I don't ruin the surprise. You know what I mean? So, look, we actually added some glass. And um, I think you guys already know about the top floor and the glass and all of that. So, we're going to skip over that part. But before we go over there, I did add this. I'm still kind of stuck on uh, what the door should look like. So, let's go out. And uh, we're going to give you a good look at what we got going on thus far. So we're going to swim out here. Okay, look at that. Right, so we built the third level. We cut it in half of the size of this, right? Um, and I have plans to put a dome over it. We're going to have another door there. And I'm going to do something special, um, which I'm not going to mention right now. But let's go around the side. Let's see get around here real quick. And um, also, too, I was thinking today maybe we can get down there and try to add some of the coral, man. We're trying to do a lot of work, man, and hopefully y'all can keep up with it. 
and look this is what the side looks like we're gonna you know continue with that design and um yeah i think it looks pretty good oh uh, we had a little spot there real quick um i do have all the villagers traded all the way up um so you can see they got diamonds on their belts they're all masters if you take a look uh, let's just jump up real quick you notice they all got diamond badges so they're all pretty much really ready and uh good to go so i'm pretty excited about that i still got to figure out this doorway here i want to make that look cool so we added the uh uh, not crimson, the warp, uh, I don't know, the nilium, whatever. <laughs> we added the trap doors there, and then we put that in there. We're going to do something else in the middle of this to make this door look pretty spectacular. Um, now, let's go up to the third floor and see what we got going on. And I'm gonna I don't know how that guy got up there, but we're going to have to take care of that. You know, one thing I did not expect was for them to start producing villagers because the last time i built these uh trading halls they didn't they didn't they didn't um spawn uh gold golems and you know they spawned matter of fact i had it in a building and they did spawn them out so look we got these up here um and you can see we got the, the trading booths there so once you trade with them <clears throat> you can break their post their job and they'll still stay with the job that they had you know and all the trades that they got so you can see here um it's four each i think that's absolutely enough and we have another little spike um so we got four and there's 16 in each and it comes out to 48 altogether. i also added this glass here let's go up here and um because we're gonna start bringing them up that was my next thing to do and you can see here I did the um, the same thing here and we put lights behind it which I thought would be pretty cool and put the glass on the bottom there as you can see over the lights so um, my thing is I'm going to put a dome over this um, that's what we're gonna try and get that done today put a dome over it I think it looks pretty cool we're gonna take a look at it from the air and we're going to get the guys, you know, all of the villagers um, into this place today. I mean, get them up top and get them inside. Don't worry, I have all these spikes. Get them in. Um, oh, I can't wait to work on that. <laughs> get them upstairs into the next floor. And we have to figure out how we're going to get up and down. And, you know, we got to get this spot done. That's, you know, that's what I'm trying to do today get it knocked out and i apologize guys i'm trying to pick up the video making pace me and my wife we own a tax office so it's very very busy right now so it's very hard for me to actually you know be able to play the game and do you know to help my wife with the business and take care of that stuff as well but this is what we got going on and i gotta build something to bring the villagers up and then we'll start loading them in but we're gonna take them through that guy right there the zombie converter first to get him to drop down but we're gonna get to that right after these messages i'm gonna get this built up guys and i will be right back with ya hey guys and gals boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we are back at the ocean base <laughs> hey how's it going everybody just wanted to do a progress report check this out right here look at that dun, dun, dun. For some reason, my game has been freezing, man. I updated the uh, fabric loader so I can have uh, the replay mod and stuff. And I updated it to uh, 1.16.5. And for some reason, I keep getting my thing keeps freezing. So if anybody has any uh, ideas to solutions, please let me know down in the comments. There it is again. So yeah, we put the doorway here. We're gonna fly out so you guys can see what it looks like from above. And I just felt like dotting it. And one of the dots and putting the lamps in and all of that stuff, man, just to make it look pretty cool. You know. And we'll come around here. You guys can see the sides. I think it looks pretty dope. I actually, whoa, well, I missed that, huh? <laughs> it's 
So, since we're down here, what I'm gonna do next is I was thinking from there. Um, let's jump in the boat. Because I got I got an idea. You guys know I do everything on the fly. I don't plan stuff out for some reason. I should. Things go a lot smoother when I plan stuff out. So, so this is what I was thinking. Up there, which this thing is in the way. So, let's get past the light. Up there, I was thinking about bringing a step down to there. Then step down to there. Um, I don't know. It was just a thought. But what we're going to do next is we are going to get our villagers and to see the uh, zombie village converter doctor. That's that guy right there. So we can trade them all up and then get them upstairs. So I'm going to build really quick a makeshift um, thingamajiggy, uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, railroad way just to get them up top once they uh, come out of here which really sucks because I'm gonna use boats to whoa look at this guy right here how did he get are you serious this is how you take care of this well I thought he was gonna stay there so. Anyway, as you can see, they're all masters. They're all from running. It's pretty funny. <laughs> they're all masters. So the only thing is, I gotta get the boats, and I gotta take them out at four at a time. Cause look at this. I got my little villager list, so that way I know which villagers I gotta pull. And we're gonna have to separate them into sections. So look, we got four farmers. Four butchers, four fishermen, uh, I forgot, oh, four uh, leather workers, and then so on and so forth. So that's what's going on. I got to get my boats. Yeah, we're going to put all this stuff back. Um, we're going to go grab the boats, um, get the rails. I knew I had to incorporate this stuff in there. I got to figure that out. But yeah, so that's what we got going on. And 2.2 as soon as we get ready. So yeah, let me get this set up and I will come back in when we are pulling these guys in. So I'm gonna get them all right and ready and get them over here. We gotta get this lined up. I definitely have to get rid of all of these iron golems. Yeah, so they don't be in the way because they'll mess me up and try to kill the zombie every time he converts one of the villagers. So, all right, so I'll see you guys after this. Hey, guys and gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the ocean base. <laughs> now, I got a huge surprise for you. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up real quick and fall off the ledge and fix this real quick and come back up because I just didn't want to show you guys. So we haven't, there we go, wait, no, I did it too much. Nope, again, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was confused here. So I have yet to work on this, way, but this is something I've been working on just a little bit. Um, as you guys can see, everything is cleared out. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do about this up and down. I'm thinking about putting some elevators in. I think that's something I'm gonna do. But yeah, we just this is just the remnants of it because we got all of this uh, potion in here. I have yet to bring it downstairs, but we're gonna get that out of here. And we're gonna utilize this area right here and this area right here. And you see, I got all of my villagers. You guys already knew these guys there. So let's go upstairs and check out what we did upstairs. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. Place. I, I'm I'm getting really really good at this stuff, man. Check this out, bingo bango. 
Check this out. Check this out. So we have our leather workers, our fishermen, uh, our butchers, and our farmers here. So I decided to put the food guys and leather workers in this section. And then we have who's these guys? The armorers. These are all the metal guys, right? The toolsmiths, the weaponsmiths, and the fletchers, because they deal with all the weapons. So that's why we got them. And you guys over here, we have the cartographers, the masons, the uh, what are these guys called again? Clerics, and the shepherds. So, look, I got them all down to one, man. This I, I didn't really care about getting down. Uh, that neither, because I'm never going to give them nether wood. Probably, I don't know, emeralds like that. I got tons of emeralds. And then check this out I built this uh, enchantment. Uh, station here and I built this one over here we are working on this one um, what I'm doing with the books is I'm putting the books in order so you got um, whatever book you see it doesn't mean that I have blast protection number five that is that actual book sitting on the item frame but in here we'll go all blast protections and so on and so forth like channeling um, this is supposed to be a uh, curse of binding, so any books, curse of binding, curse of vanishing are going there, and then so on and so forth. We'll utilize those, and we'll put the rest of the books over here. That's what we got it set up for. Um, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments, man. I think it came out absolutely amazing. I did this on the fly while you guys were waiting for me to get done you guys will not believe how long it took me to get these villages straight look check this out you see this guy um, i accidentally left that instead of him going in his own space he wanted to go in here with his buddy so we got two villages in there now let me tell you what happened right so i totally sent in all four of these guys, right? I don't know what I was thinking. I put them all in there, pushed them in, knocked them all out of their mind cards, and I left all four of these open. I came back, all four of them were in this one section, right? So I was pretty, pretty ticked off. I decided to get rid of them. But I had all the other villagers in here. So what happened was, when I hit one, all their prices were down to one, right? Like this. They're all down. As you can see. And when I hit that one guy over here and get rid of him and just leave one there and then go and get three more villagers and bring them back over here and put them in, they all raise their prices. All of them. So. <laughs> Oh, man, I had to tear all of this out, get all of them to come out, chase them down, catch them in boats, put them inside a fence, put them on tracks, send them back downstairs, redo the whole entire thing, and bring them all back up. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That is why this guy is still here. I won't be going through that again <laughs> at all. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this design right here and put it down there and over there as well. And because it's going to take a little bit of time for me to do, I want you guys to sit back and enjoy this time lapse. So I will be right back with you guys in just the shake of a lamb's tab. See you in a sec. Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are done with the um enchantment centers that we have we got one here one here and we got two upstairs which you guys have already seen that is so dope yo i am super impressed about this man what i'm gonna do off camera is finish with the uh books the enchanted books and you know i'll probably do the same thing down here and up there so I don't have to like run up and downstairs to go get books and stuff like that. I'm going to trade with the librarians to get all of the books. I know I don't have them all, but that's something I'm going to do off camera. And uh, yeah, there's we got to go upstairs real quick because I totally forgot to do something. And I didn't even realize it um, in completing this, the next floor, this floor up here. And we got to figure out how to get up and down here, man. This, it was this part here. Look, <clears throat> we totally missed out on putting in uh, the courts. We even got a hole there so we can jump down. But yeah, this here, um, 
we didn't do this part here so <laughs> it looks i was down there and i'm looking up and i'm going why does that look like that it looks so weird why does it why does it look so plain it just looks silly and so right now we're gonna fix this real quick good thing we can go down here and collect the glass i don't even need it that's the problem got so much blue stained glass it's ridiculous and take that out that out that out that out and i went and grabbed some uh quartz to get back in here nice move marcel <laughs> Yeah, and I had to fill that in, and I don't even think I can pick up the glass, nope. And we got to do this side as well, so probably going to have to grab it from the... Oh, are you serious? Do I have any of that on me? Nope. <laughs> We're going to have to go get that ASAP. We are going to go have to get that ASAP. Let's get that out, and... Oh, that's too long. Man, we can't pick that up either. I don't need the glass anyway. Why am I worried about it? Got too much of it as it is. I don't have enough of this, though. Um, I actually put on my second account, and this is where all the books are. Let's see what we can throw in. We can throw that in there. See, I don't even, let's forget about the glass. But anyway, let's go down here and get this. And um, look, I can't even pick that up. <laughs> here we go. There goes some more right there. Um, oh, and I got to show you guys something that I did. I'm trying not to look over there so I don't spoil it. But I did a part of the front door. So I'm going to get that taken care of. It is coming out pretty dope. I must say so myself. We don't. So yeah, man. Uh, we got that in. That's pretty dope. Taken care of. And we're gonna go check out the front door. That's what we got coming up next. Check that out, y'all. Bingo, bango. <laughs> so I gotta go get some more of this, so we can finish it all the way up top. But this is how it looks on this side. And I wanted to incorporate the door because I liked how the design was on the door i wish you could just pile doors on top of each other that would be dope i don't think you can do that but it would have been dope if you could so i came up with this i used the stairs the door stairs then we put some uh, sea lanterns through some trap doors on it then we put some doors in the middle and then we put some more stairs and then doors out and then we're going to do doors in the middle and we're going to rotate the design I actually found out how to place doors so the knobs be next to each other without having to wait for it. So let's jump in the boat real quick and let's go out here so we can spin around and take a look at it. Check it out, see? That looks pretty dope, right? I think it's pretty awesome, man. And plus, if I'm flying and I decided to fly into one of the doors, I can actually land on the stair <laughs> and open the door and go in. So. I think that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Man, let me know down in the comments. See, look, they have a little land in there. And you can open the doors and uh, have it as, you know, just open windows or whatever. I don't know. And we're going to put, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to the top, though, because that's going to get a little complicated to fill in up there. <coughs> but, yeah. So, I'm going to run and grab some, uh, what is this stuff? warped warp block and let's just put the what's the name down real quick before we even go down here so we can just run up and uh put that go up there like that there you go and what did i just pick up oh we could oh yeah forget about that glass i don't need it oh look at that without we're bouncing <laughs> Yo, I really, really love this place, man. This looks so dope. So proud of myself, man. You gotta toot your own horn, man, because if you don't, nobody will, man. What do we come down here for? 
Oh, okay. So let's go one of the waterways. I got waterways and all of these entrances, right? Like these things here. Let me get up and down. Bingo, bango. And then look, there's another one there. I have them on this side, that side, that corner, and that corner. So wherever we are, like we'll take you to the next one because we're supposed to go up another floor. So let's see, you come over here. No matter where you are, you can actually get to the floor you want to. But guess what? The way I get down is just jump off, <laughs> jump off the edge. <laughs> so let's grab that and we can fill that stack up. And we need to do some more filling, man. We haven't been in a nether in a minute. We, <laughs> we gotta, go. or the end. I've been to the end like three, four, maybe five times. And that's when I was in busting. I think I'm gonna be doing that real soon. Go live, go in busting again. Uh, Cause I only think I took out like four, maybe five. No, actually I took out quite, maybe, yeah, like five, maybe a little bit more um, in cities. Just go on a mist and um, find them. It tells you right where to go and then you can knock them out. You know what I'm saying? So let's get up here first and take this down. You know what I'm doing? I'm gonna take those trap doors off and we're gonna put fence up. Let's see how that looks instead. This is, what are we going to do next? All right. Let's, um, do we drop any out there? Nope. Drop one in there. All right. So let's see if we can, let's, check, let's try this. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, we should have brought the lamps. Let me do that. That doesn't really look like anything, does it? Maybe we can just go. Whoa. All right, and then oh, man. okay. So let's see. Take that down, and then put this there. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, not there. <laughs> All right, cool. We got that set in there. And um, let's fill in this side and see how it looks. Now I need to see lanterns. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we have the two doors in the middle. So we got to go out this side. And then. Oh. Doors and if you want to put the door knobs down, right? So check this out. I think this is how you do it. So you just want to face that way, and then you want to face this way, and it puts the door knobs in the middle, which is pretty cool, right? So now we we'll take that out, and then this is what I did here, right? We put them in, and then oh, we got to take them down. So Bring that across. Let's take these down. See how it works out. Man. See that one? We can't do the extra slot down on the side because it'll block the door either way. Right? So we're not going to try that there. We will put three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then. Go down one and boom, boom. Right, and then one, two, three. Now we gotta check out how this looks too. We gotta jump in the boat again. <laughs> okay, we're going the wrong way right now. And swing around. That's a little more. 
rugged man i think it does right i don't know man we'll leave it like that for now and we'll get the rest of this built up real quick and you guys let me know what you think about it right all right guys and gals boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we are back at the base <laughs> and check out our doorway wall man this is the inside of it right here and i'm gonna jump out here and jump in the boat and we are going to swing around this way real quick and we're gonna fling around and there is the outside i think that came out absolutely amazing what do you guys think man i think that's pretty dope it's pretty dope right yeah there you have it man so in today's episode man we knocked out a lot of stuff man pretty righteous if i do say so myself i'm really really happy about that all right guys and gals boys and girls ladies and gentlemen that is all the time we have for today oh i'm in the water <laughs> now i want to thank you for stopping by man it's taking time out to hang out with your boy marcel marceau and this has been an episode of minecrafting with marcel marceau make sure that if you're a returning subscriber you hit that like button man it really helps the channel out and make sure you hit the share button to help us grow this community one by one man and making it something special and if you are new remember i need you to subscribe so you can stay notified every time we do a video like this or go live you hear me <laughs> And thanks again, man. You guys have a blessed day. Stay safe and keep away from COVID. Peace.